Alrighty then, folks. We are back with more Gundam Breaker 3. Possibly with the last stage, maybe more. The last DLC was 3, but since this is paid DLC, it might be like 6. Which would be interesting, you know? But we did 3 stages so far, and we're going to do more for now. I'm gonna finish this all in one day. Oh, and there's a hotspot here. Which... Uh, apparently the hotspot unit of Gujian? Like, it tells you, but... Gujian Master, Shinaju, and Hyakoshiki. Like, I, I thought all those were already in there. Anyway, we are going to do Sweet Painful. Childhood Recollection Regret Sweet Painful. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's kind of philosophical in Japanese, and this one, it just looks kind of weird. But oh well. Anyway, let us begin... So, this is the uh, colony one. I think it was side 7. This one's kind of interesting. I think there's a version of it in this game, though, so it might look very familiar. I remember you do this one at the beginning of Gundam Breaker 2, which this might be referencing. Who knows? If there's a platforming section, then yeah, it is. So I really hated that. I'm not good at platforming. But yes, we are using Ashamabi again. Because I haven't got time to make my land rotomen or my nice rebow. Oh. Never mind, this is probably the last stage. Which kind of makes me sad since, you know, I, I paid for this and we got about the same amount of content as the free DLC. But who cares? Now the real question is, do we take out the new or the wing for, or the unicorn first? Of course, if this was real, the real show, I'd say we take out the unicorn because if the pilot of the unicorn is a new type, then he can literally bend reality to his will. But who knows? Oh, and he's actually using his, like, city-sized bits. Great. God damn it. Like, I stop at all and he knocks, like, my legs off. You know, I'm expecting this to be the final boss, I'll be honest with you. Usually, like, I want there to be more, but this is going to be the final boss. And I apologize if this mission, er, if this video is like ten minutes long. That's entirely why. I apologize, but it's not my fault that you know. Final missions aren't really a challenge in this. Well, they are kind of hard, but not as hard as it could be. And since uh, after you kill two big guys, the other one doesn't go back to full HP, it should be fine if we just beat this one. For no good reason. Oh, and it went uh, destroy the universe mode. Got it. So in a continuation of that last episode, though, if you're watching these not in order on or they're on different days and you don't understand what I'm talking about, was G Reco after turn A or was it just after U C? I haven't finished it yet and I don't remember, but I think they they were saying it was after U C. But I remember there being a, uh, I remember there being a unicorn and a turn A in it. Yeah. Though the unicorn was from one of the extra things. It wasn't a unicorn. It was the the unicorn three phoenix. That's not really a spoiler since they talk about it in like episode three. You know, there's those like uh, crystallized statues of mobile suits that they somehow have but didn't took the designs from because. The universe devoted uh, devoted to war clearly doesn't understand weapon design. Though then again, one of them is the Rick Diaz, so... They don't understand design that much.
Was that it? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Burning in a wing? That's cool. Definitely wing first, though, because wings are ranged, dude, and will completely... Apparently not, but will completely murder you with the colony busters. And I just got burnt, uh, shining fingered. Yep, I thought as much. Yeah, I fought you before. I know how this fight goes. If it's anything like the last time in the last game where that happened, he's gonna use that constantly and it's gonna be annoying as fuck. But the answer is to just fly high in the air. Unless you can't fly for reasons unknown, i.e. your boosters ran out. Though I will say, at least he's not lock knocking my legs off every chance he gets. Ooh, that was close. And yeah, I should have saved that. I didn't, though. getting really lucky today and getting to like 2,000 or like 900 HP before I can heal. So I'm getting the max out of everything. Two of them together is difficult, but when it's just one alone, it's not the worst kind of thing. Oh no, no going shining finger mode. Oh yeah, and I have uh, Gaia mode or special mode or whatever the fuck you call it in this game. I keep calling it Gaia mode though, because the first game. And yeah, I know I'm talking about it and not using it, because I'm pretty sure there's a third wave. I'll be very confused if there's only two waves. Come on, die, please. Thank you. Yeah, I thought so. Oh. 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 It's the two super robots. Great. I guess it makes sense. Uh, I think Gundam or uh, Gundam and Zeta Gundam next or Double Zeta and uh, yeah, Zeta and Double Zeta and then with Gundam alone or since we've already fought Gundam something else entirely. Hmm. Or this might just be the end. Who knows? But I'm really hoping there's a round four. That would make me happy. And yeah, there's... At one point, I'm probably going to die on purpose and not let my allies res me so I can get my build parts back. You lose points for doing that, but it'll give me more repair kits. And since I don't value min-maxing, it's gonna happen. Accept it. Well, I do value min-maxing, I just don't care enough in this game, because I want to enjoy it and show you guys the content more than I want to be good at the game. Yeah. 
Morgan at Bandai trying to figure out ways to take me down because I posted this. And they think people won't buy the DLC because of it. Of course, they don't understand and also they don't pay attention to me, but that the point of uh, Gundam Breaker DLC should not be to sell stuff. Or stopping someone from watching it, but should be to try to sell things. Because I don't think you guys give a shit about the matches, really, do you? It's more about what suits they add in and what new cool stuff there is. Which is the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of this game. Also, dude knocked me apart in one hit. I'm more about the story than I am about the game, whereas a lot of people are more about the game, and that's... Oh, great. Yeah, he went Trans Am. Woo. And yes, I did just survive his special by charging at him. Makes me super happy. Yeah, I'm more of a story person than I am. Like, uh, oh, look what I can do kind of thing. Like, go back and watch my UC Climax thing. I really don't care about customization all that much. Like, I, make, I like making weird shit, but that's about it. Oh, shit. Come on, stand up. Forgot I had, like, passive res when I'm on the ground. It's pretty nice. Or not passive res, uh, passive regen. So who do you think uh, round four will be? I'm gonna go with Gundam and Zeta, or Double Zeta and Zeta. Or, you know, that'll be the end. Disappointed, but not as disappointed as if it was a single one. Prominence. Brinkle. What the fuck, Brinkle? Yep. Yeah. Nothing we need there. Yeah, we already got all this stuff. And yeah, no legendaries, no legendaries. We will take all of this, though. That I find value in. And these are purples, so why not? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's not even worth much, either. そう。うん。もう、そうかもしれねえな。子供の頃に残した特別な思いは大人になってからじゃ取り戻せないんだね。来ない方が良かったか？いや、そんなことないよ。今日みんなで一緒に味わったこの気持ちはやっぱり教師か得られないものだ。クリアできなかった昔を思
Alrighty then, folks. That was that. That was a $15 DLC that... Eh. Yeah, I think it's worth it. It was cool. Um, if you enjoyed it, you should like. If you didn't, you should dislike. Um, for $15, maybe if you really like the Gujian, the Astroth, the Age FX, and the Rebow. I know I did. That's mainly why I bought it. But the story is what you would expect. Hey, who knows? Maybe you'll get something interesting from playing this on Extreme. I, of course, didn't. And watching me grind through Extreme probably wouldn't have been all that interesting. At least I don't think it would be, and then the views would be very low. But, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, you should like it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll play the next one, maybe I won't, who knows. If the story's like this, eh. But you buy these DLCs for the, uh, suits and the new parts and stuff. You don't buy them for the game, for the story. I understand that, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. But, yeah, if you guys liked it, you should like the video. If you didn't, you should dislike it. If you want it, go buy it yourself, you know. If you want, you can follow the link down below and go get some Singapore cards so I can slightly, hopefully, get a discount. You know, buy a shit ton of them while I had the discount because those discounts only last like a week. But, you know, who cares? Anyway, folks, good night.